Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing my May BoxyCharm box. Now, before I get into opening up this box, let me just go over what I received in my previous month's box. So in my April box, I received the Iconic Illuminator Highlighting Liquid, the Pore Professional Pore Primer, the Elemis Superfood Sika Calm Hydration Juice, um, the Dose of Colors lipstick in the shade Fudge, and then two eyeliners by Illuminati. They are the gel paint eyeliners and they are electric pink and electric blue. Now the Iconic Illuminator Highlighting Liquid. At first when I received this, I was like, oh, this is super bright. I don't know how I'm gonna like actually apply it to my skin, but I've actually been applying it to my foundation. So when I pump out my foundation, I've added about two drops of this to there. And then it just gives it like a very subtle glow. The more that you add, obviously the more of a shimmery glow that you'll get. So I've liked doing that so far. Um, I have not tried applying it directly to my skin, but um, I'm sure that you can even add this into like your body lotions too, to give yourself like a nice shimmer. So I haven't tried that yet, but I think that that would be cool for like just giving yourself like a nice little summer glow. The Professional Primer. I have never tried a primer like this before. So it comes out kind of like a lotion but it goes on really smooth and it's just the weirdest texture if you're not used to a primer like this. So you end up using a lot more product than you assume that you're gonna have to use. And so you kind of rub it in and your skin just kind of like absorbs it. And it does have like a blurring effect. So wherever you have like fine lines and wrinkles, it does diminish them slightly but it is just the weirdest formula. I'm just not too crazy about it. I know some people just rave about it, but the texture for me and like the way that it just goes onto your skin is just odd. I am wearing it right now under my foundation, but the very first time that I tried it, I was like, this is so weird. So, I mean, I'll use it up. I'll use the container up, but I don't see myself ever purchasing the full size version of this. The Elemis Superfood Sika Calm Hydration Juice. As you can tell, I have used a lot of it since receiving it last month. I love this stuff. It smells so good. It has almost like an herbal tea smell. And so after you cleanse your skin, you pump a couple squirts onto your hand and then you just apply it right into your skin and your skin just like drinks it up. Your skin does stay slightly um, like sticky for a few minutes afterwards. So you just want to make sure that like you let your skin dry before like laying down or doing anything like that. I wouldn't suggest using this on a day that you know that you're gonna put a full face of makeup. Um, I like to use it right after the shower when I know I'm either gonna go to bed soon or I'm, I don't plan on putting makeup on that day, but I really enjoy this. I love how it's a glass bottle. It just is a great, great product and I highly recommend this. The next thing that I received was a Dose of Colors lipstick in the shade Fudge. Now, it is a super, super dark color, and I'm actually wearing it right now. So that's the shade. This is actually the darkest shade of lip color that I've ever put on my lips. I've actually never worn brown before, and so I wasn't sure, like, when I was first putting it on, I'm like, oh, okay, it's really dark. But it actually, I don't mind it. It actually looks pretty good and my roots are starting to show through. So I feel like just like that contrast of color between like my roots, my brown eyebrows, and then I've got like a brown lip going. I feel like it looks really good and I underestimated how the color would actually look on me, but I'm actually really pleased. The next products were the Illuminati eyeliners. Um, I wore both of these colors. They are super, super vibrant. So there's electric blue and electric pink, and they are true to color. Like what you put on is what you see right here. Now, I liked them. The only problem is I don't know how you twist them up. Like I literally, like you twist this and nothing happens. It's just a hollow tube. So I don't know how else you can get more color. Like, is this it? I don't really get it because this is supposed to be a full size product like this bottom part doesn't twist so that's the one thing i'm confused about 
a lot of other people who reviewed this product like also didn't know how to get it to twist up so i'm gonna have to just dive a little bit more into figuring out how to get more product out of this so that was everything that i received from my april boxy charm um i'd have to say my favorite product was probably this hydrating juice serum this this is just a great great product okay let's get into my main boxy charm box all right let's open this up and see what i got Ooh, looks like some good stuff so this is what the inside of a boxy charm box looks like it's black on the outside and then it's got that pop of pink here and they always do some type of protective like either padding this month they added bubble wrap just to help the products um ship safely so i'm gonna pull out one item at a time okay the first product that i see is by AYAM Beauty Care and they are some Dead Sea Mineral and Vitamin C Serum Makeup Remover Wipes. Really cool. I don't have any makeup wipes currently. Um, I actually use baby wipes for just getting off my makeup um, or I'll just use like a, a face wash. So I'm excited to try these out. I've never heard of this brand before and I definitely have not tried makeup wipes like this before. So it says, our Dead Sea Minerals and Vitamin C Serum Makeup Remover Wipes help prevent dark spots while moisturizing and brightening skin. They remove all traces of makeup without causing irritation, leaving skin hydrated and luminous. It comes with 25 wipes. Cool, I'm excited to try this one out and see how it does with removing all my makeup. The next item that I received is by Daily Concepts, and it is a shampoo bar. I've never tried a shampoo bar. Um, I've heard of these. They're supposed to be really good for the environment um, and just saving on plastic and also saving on product. You know, when you're using shampoo bottles, like you tend to pump a lot more than you need. So this is supposed to like help eliminate that. It says, your hair will love the Daily Concept Shampoo Bar. This plant-based shampoo bar has everything you need for clean, beautiful hair with no plastic. A simple bar for beautiful hair without filling the oceans or landfills with, with more plastic bottles. That's great. Okay, let me open this up and then see what it looks like. Oh, awesome. Shower the world with love. Oh, it smells so good. You can definitely smell those like essential oils. That says, we're here to change the world, your world, one shower at a time. Wet the bar and your hair. Swipe the bar several times down your hair from root to tip and put the bar down and lather shampoo into hair. It will foam. Wow, how cool. Oh my gosh, I've never tried this before. Look, it's so, this little ribbon goes right through the bar. Oh my gosh, it's so neat. What a great concept. You know, props to this brand for changing the shampoo industry and revolutionizing a new way to wash your hair while reducing plastic and saving the earth. Okay, the next product in my box is by Pretty Vulgar and it looks like it is a eyeshadow primer. So that's what it looks like. I've never tried an eyeshadow primer before. So it's got um, this type of a end and then it's got almost like a concealer type of color to it. Huh. It definitely doesn't go on like the professional primer. It has more of a tacky, like stickiness to it. Hmm. Doesn't smell. I've never tried an eyeshadow primer before. I'll do foundation and then I'll do like a base powder and then the eyeshadow. So I'm curious to see how this is. It's definitely like tacky. So I wonder if this is more for like those shimmery, glittery eyeshadows that you don't want fall out under your eyes. So I have to try this out with a couple different eyeshadows and see how this does. Okay, the next product in here, this is a pretty packaging. It's by Glam Glow. It's the Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Mask. What a pretty color. It's 
like a fuchsia. That's a star up top. Um, it says apply an even layer to clean skin, leave on for 10 minutes, and for best results, tissue off and smooth in any excess. Hmm. If desired, rinse and pat dry. Follow with your normal skincare regimen. Huh. All right, let me open this up and see. Oh, wow. I've smelled this scent before, but I can't pinpoint like what it is reminding me of. Like a, a, a berry, it smells just like berries. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I'm assuming that it doesn't dry. It probably just stays like wet since it says to tissue off and then smooth in any extra. How cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying that and seeing how it does. A probiotic recovery mask. I wish that it would list like what it helps with though, because since it's listed as a recovery mask, like does it help with acne? Does it help with like fine lines or sun damage? I wish that it would list that. So I'll have to look online and see exactly like a little bit more of the details about this product. But the next and final product in my box is the Violet Boss Essentials Pro Series Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, I'm excited to see what the colors are in here. Ooh, so just like the front, look at the colors that you get. Let me take off this little plastic cover. And these are all the shades that you get. Like pretty rainbow shades. Oh my gosh, this pink is gorgeous. The purple. Oh my god, how pretty are these? So the colors are cream, sand, terracotta, gold, emerald, pink, dusty rose, plumberry, cinnamon, and black. And it looks like there are five of the shimmery metallic colors and then five of the matte colors. Um, yeah, right away, like I am loving the cream. That's like a go-to for me, this type of shimmery cream one, but this purple and the emerald, oh my gosh, those look gorgeous. Yeah, I've never heard of Violet Voss before. Um, let me swatch these and then see how they look on the skin. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my whole arm to swatch them. Um, so the first color is cream. Now I don't know how well these are gonna show up on camera. But that's the first color, cream. The next color that I'll put next to it is sand. This one's very, um, yeah, like a very like orangey tone. Next is terracotta. This one is more of like a, this one's more like a true orange, but almost like a, like a marigold burnt orange color. I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> the next color is a shimmer and it is gold. Super pretty. So that's what it looks like right next to it. And then um, the next one is emerald. Now these shimmer ones don't seem to have like a lot of pickup. I feel like I'm trying to like swatch them. Uh, like I'm trying to just pick up more of the color than like necessary. So hopefully they go on the eyes okay because for right now the shimmers don't seem to be showing up too well. All right, I'm running out of fingers. So I'm going to use one of these makeup wipes and take the color off so that I can swatch some more. So this is the size of the wipes. It's pretty good. It's like bigger than my face. So I wonder if like one wipe could basically take off all the makeup from your face. I guess it depends on how much makeup you have, but like you can always like take it all off, use the other side, flip it over. All right. It smells good. Mmm. Those wipes smell really good. Okay, let me dry my hands. Alright, so I have swatched. Uh, how do I do this? 
So I've swatched the top row so far. And then now I'm going to swatch the bottom row. And I'm just gonna put it, um, I don't know if I should keep doing it down. I guess I'll just keep doing it down the line. So the next one is pink. This one is super pretty. And then the next one is Dusty Rose. Oh, this is really hard to see. This is like a very subtle blush color. Next is Plum Berry. Mm, that's disappointing. This isn't as vibrant as I was hoping. It looks more of like a dull magenta not as vibrant as it looks on there okay the next one is cinnamon this one's pretty that's that one and then the very last one let me wipe my hands again is black so let's see what that looks like this is a nice black And that's what that looks like okay so this was the whole palette swatched onto my arm so you can kind of tell that the shimmery ones are a little bit more light than the matte ones um i'm disappointed about that purple it looks so vibrant here but the pink seems pretty true to the color um, so I'll have to see how it looks actually on my eyelids. Okay, so this is everything that I received in my May BoxyCharm box. I will be sure to list each of these products, full names, and their prices in the description down below. Now, in case you are interested in signing up yourself for BoxyCharm, I will leave the link to their website down below. Um, and they usually offer some type of like sign-up bonus. My sign-up bonus was an eyeshadow palette. And I thought that was just like a great incentive to sign up. So your first box will usually include like six items then instead of the traditional five. So I think that that's really nice that they do that. I get the $25 a month box. This is considered their base box. They do offer a premium and a luxe box, but those are more money. And so I feel like this is a really good value for the amount of money that you pay receiving five full-size products and for only $25, I don't think that you can beat that. Okay, so just to recap what I received in this month's box, I got makeup wipes, a shampoo bar, a eyeshadow primer, a face mask, and then an eyeshadow palette. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you are not yet subscribed to BoxyCharm, maybe this inspired you to sign up. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.